Gmail has a new look for features you already use. Plus, there's new ways to organize your inbox, view upcoming events, and take action on emails. In this video, we're going to go through some of the highlights of the new Gmail that is coming out and how you can opt into it. If you're a G Suite administrator, you'll need to perform an extra step to allow your users to see this screen where it prompts them to try the new mail. We'll go over that in a separate video. If you see this message, you can just simply click the Try It Now button or in the settings gear if you've already cleared that message. Here we see Try the New and then your company's name, Mail. When you first open the new mail, you'll see the welcome prompt. Just click next and choose a view that you'd like to see your emails displayed. There's default, comfortable, and compact. Once you've made your choice, click OK. And if you'd like to change your view after a while, you can just click the settings gear on the top right and then choose display density. When you point to messages in your inbox, you can quickly take action without opening them. You'll have options to archive, delete, mark messages as read or unread, and snooze. When you snooze an email until later, it postpones the email to a future date or time that's more convenient for you. Use suggested replies and follow-ups to reply to emails using phrases that'll show up based on the messages that you receive. Here's a message asking a question, and I have several responses I can choose from. Just choose one of them. It'll open up a new Compose window. If you like it the way that it is, just click Send. And you might also see old emails that pop to the top of your inbox with a suggestion to reply or follow up based on the conversation. To make room for previewing your email, you can expand or shrink the inbox by clicking the menu hamburger bar at the top next to the Gmail icon. And if you want to keep the menu open or expanded, just click the hamburger menu again. You can now use Google Calendar, Keep, Tasks, and other add-ons right inside of Gmail. On the right of your inbox, you'll see these icons, Calendar to view your daily schedule, events, edit them, create new events or jump to upcoming events, create checklists and notes with Google Keep, and add to-dos and deadlines with Tasks. There are other Gmail extra add-on tools that you can manage from your mail as well. Here, I'm just looking if my Monday or Thursday is available and I see that it is and I can use my quick reply to respond back to the message. Here I'm going to show how to create a task from an email. Using tasks here on our sidebar, we'll just click get started if you haven't used it. And we can make this message part of our task list by clicking the three dots on the top of the message and then choosing Add to Tasks. Here it puts the subject as the task name and it includes a link to the email so that we can quickly get back to it. I'm going to use the re smart reply to let him know that I'm going to work on this as part of my tasks. Google Keep is a great way to take notes and share them. Here when I create a new note you'll notice it links to the email that I'm already in. I'm just going to brainstorm a few topics and share it with Lee. From the note menu I can archive, delete, or open the note in Google Keep. You can also pin notes to keep them to the top. 
When you open links from notes, be mindful of your pop-up blocker. Here, I'll set my Chrome to always allow pop-ups from mail.google.com. I'm going to open this note in Google Keep. And from Google Keep, you'll have a lot of other different options for each of the notes that you make. You can add drawings, show checkmark boxes, copy it to Google Docs. I'm going to share this note with Lee. So I'll go add collaborator and then type in their email address here. They'll get a message with a link to allow them to open the note in Google Keep where any changes they make will also reflect back in your notes. I've already logged in as Lee and made some changes. I've prioritized some of these ideas and you can see here that the changes reflect right in Google Notes and show when the last edit was made. And that change is also reflected back here in our Gmail inbox. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial walk around of the new Gmail. If you don't like the new Gmail, you can switch back to the classic Gmail. Just click the settings gear on the top right and choose go back to classic mail. Thanks again for watching these videos. Your likes and comments are helpful encouragement to create better future videos. And if you want future videos, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get updates for videos when they're released.